are listening to the Atheist Antidote Show. And now, your host, Bob Lemon. Hello, my name is Brock Kalali. I'm the Atheist Senator on YouTube and elsewhere. Thank you for listening to my podcast. You have reached the adults table at the Thanksgiving of Life, where we properly assign children's seating to liberals and secular extremists. They get to go over there. They get to scribble with their crayons. They get to throw food. They get to fart. But here at the adults' table, we get to uh, pay bills, talk about the world as it actually is, and we look over and smirk at the children's table from time to time for amusement. Thank you for listening. Now, this podcast, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be about a tender subject because, uh, you know, I have looked at this from every angle, and I'm trying to figure out how it's all going to play out in the long view. See, the country is hemorrhaging. It's hemorrhaging morally. It's It's hemorrhaging fiscally. And... Sometime, I don't know when on the timeline, but sometime, you know, the bills are going to need paid, the consequences and ramifications ramifications are going to come due. I, I don't think anybody really knows how that, like, house of cards domino thing is going to happen, but it's going to happen. It, it has to happen. I mean, there's just no... Uh, we've reached a point of such asinine and behavior and, and irresponsibility that it's just inevitable. Nobody has any any fortitude to fix any of the problems. Uh, the ones that might hit soonest will probably be the fiscal ones, but who really knows? We got tear nipping at our heels everywhere as a consequence of incompetence and leadership that simply is inept and inept and also corrupt. And and they just insist on lying and deceiving. And I mean that is just such a motley, messy pit of eternal stench in Washington that, you know, most people just throw their hands up. But how's it all going to play it out? It is going to play out. You know, you talk to the average layman, you know, go up to the average guy who's got his head on straight and, you know, he's no conspiracy nut. He's working at a, you know, a decent job. He's raising a decent family. He's got a mortgage. And I guarantee you that guy's got like seven grand in cash. He's got some guns. He's got some canned food. It's just the sentiment of the nation, which is, which is testament to, to the way things are right now. It's just the country has no hope. I mean, I remember hearing about a time, you know, America's kicking down the doors of space. You know, this is a whole, you guys got to remember this. Sometimes we get uh, lost in the woods and, and we, don't, we don't stop and we don't look at the, uh, the individual trees. But, you know, we, at one point we were an optimistic nat- nation with prosperity and hope in our future. That all seems to be in our rear view now, and it's, it's a sad sentiment, but it's real, and it's real if you're talking to real people. And part of the reason I think Washington is so out of touch is because they never do that, but that's a side note. But how is it all going to play out? And is there anything to say for a, just a complete civil defiance? Like, if you're governed by corrupt, duplicitous, evil, and dangerously out-of-touch individuals... You know, you got to think about what what is within your realm of possibility to do something about that. You know, you know that, that's one of the reasons why the gun debate is so lively and vibrant because so many of us realize, you know, when the left and MSNBC and all these cats they frame it in this framework that they're going to allow us to hunt and target shoot. Nobody cares about that. We care about this government. We care about, uh, I saw a YouTube video the other day, this poor guy, he gets, he gets bent over a car and handcuffed for doing nothing in this tyrannical state. That's what we care about. That's why we're packing heat. And, uh, you know, the lefties, they just, they'll never get it. They have a, a steel titanium uh, casing on their head and no common sense can ever pierce it. It's, it's a shame, actually. You know, somebody who should actually in the medical world should be working on that. You know, we got a serious medical problem here. We got to find out how to pierce the, le- the liberal cranium with any shred of wisdom or common sense. Because I tell you, we figure that out and we solve a lot of problems. So there's a lot of interest. There could be a lot of money in it for you, you, you medical prodigies. Anyway, I'm all over the place with this one. But think about that. How does that look? What, 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 do, what do a free people do at this point? You know, you have no... Your elected officials are, are a joke. Your government's a joke. 
Uh, the only thing they seem committed to doing is, is, is finding unique ways of getting more money out of you. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what to do. I think a lot of people are like that. You know? We, we have lives and families and we don't want anything crazy to go down. But at the same time, the thing that I always get haunted by is if we don't deal with this, if somebody doesn't deal with this, and you know, you can never beat back a tyrannical government. You can never beat back a job of the hut government without somebody paying some, some, some sacrifice and some consequence. And nobody wants to do that for all the obvious reasons. You want to live a rich, full, happy life. And that doesn't, that doesn't strike anybody as happy. But are you just simply dooming your kids to do it? Are you simply dooming your grandkids to do it? And how is that not cowardice? You know, aren't we already doing that economically? Are we going to do that morally and socially as well? Are we just going to pass a baton blazing a flame with the fires of, of our deeds? Are we just going to pass that on to our children? And if we don't want to do that, we have to do something about this government. Does that mean march on it? Does that mean uh, civil disobedience? It's a conversation I really, really wish the, con- the whole country would have. Because so many of us are slipping into this coma that you're a serf that you are not empowered. That Constitution, that Bill of Rights empowers you. And it's slipping, I grant you. And it's dwindling and it's it's fading into transparency. But there's still enough of it there to get some grip. I don't know. I find that subject matter to be very interesting. And I think the country needs leadership and I think it would follow. Food for thought on this Tuesday afternoon. Thank you for listening to the Atheist Standard Show. You are listening to the Atheist Standard Show.